right, today we have a little mood snow out there uh, for this evening. Uh, certainly nothing as impactful as we had yesterday. This storm behaved pretty much as expected. Your higher snowfall totals occurred the farther south and east you went in our area and down towards Pittsburgh, 8, 9, 10 in, 11 inches worth of snow was pretty common. All of this, though, kind of small potatoes compared to northern Pennsylvania and southeastern New York. There was a stripe from roughly Williamsport up to Binghamton, New York, where at least two feet fell. In fact, 40 to 45 inches worth of snow occurred around Binghamton, uh, New York, with snowfall rates of three, four, even five inches per hour for a time last night and early this morning. Back here at home compared to last year, we're a little ahead of last year's pace through December 17th. Last winter through today's date, we had 14.2 inches worth of snow and counting what we had yesterday, 17.2 is our number officially at the Youngstown Warren Airport so far this winter. All right, we have some late snow out there this evening. This uh, is very pretty and uh, for the most part, it's not impactful. You might see a few slick spots, a small accumulation, a quarter of an inch to a half an inch, something I can't rule out, but for the most part, this is just pretty uh, uh, pre Christmas time snow putting you uh, in the mood this evening. Temperatures are in the upper 20s and well, they'll fall a few degrees overnight tonight in these light snow showers and flurries. I think will become a little more scattered in nature as we head past midnight and not much more than a stray flurry, I think, as tomorrow gets underway. So we'll drop down a few degrees down to 24 overnight tonight. Unfortunately, another pretty cloudy day coming up tomorrow. I think there may be a few breaks of sun tomorrow more than we had today. It was just slate gray overcast for most of the day today. Tomorrow there can be a few peaks here and there, but otherwise kind of an uneventful Friday with temperatures staying on the chilly side. We'll get up to 33 tomorrow afternoon. All right, we have a weather maker coming our way this weekend, but there'll be enough warm air drawn in with this that it won't just be snow. In fact, I think we'll see kind of a rain snow mix, maybe not during the daylight hour Saturday, but Saturday night heading into parts of Sunday. All of this will be low impact, but uh, a little bit of rain, a little wet snow mixed in will be uh, in store for the upcoming weekend, Saturday night and Sunday. Now, a warming trend is heading our way next week compared to the average four, five, six above average by Monday and Tuesday and then 13 above average by Wednesday. But look what happens as we head towards Christmas at the end of next week. I do think it will turn colder. And as a result, I have upped our chances of a white Christmas this year. A white Christmas being defined as an inch or more of snow on the ground. Christmas morning, historical odds locally, about 45%, almost one in every two. And earlier this week, I had 20, 25% odds. I've taken it back up to about average. I do think it will turn colder at the end of next week, and it may be accompanied by some snow as well. And uh, well, if you had a pretty good helping of snow yesterday, a lot of that may still be on the ground at the end of next week because while it will warm up, the nights will turn pretty cold. Not much accumulating snow in the forecast for the next seven days, but we will wait and see for Christmas. Madison.